Hey there, Joey from dayjobhacks.com. Today I'm gonna spy on some search ads. I'm gonna show how to spy on search ads, including Google search ads and Microsoft search ads, or otherwise known as Bing ads. These theories can apply as an affiliate marketer or as a product owner. We are going to go in to the make money niche today, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some searching, I'm gonna look at the competitors, see what people are running so that I can find out what I can do with my ads to make money, okay? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Hopefully you enjoy these types of videos. If you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the subscribe button, the little bell icon as well, click on that so you get notified of all my other videos that come out about making money online as an affiliate or a digital media buyer. Okay, welcome to the inside. Let's get this thing going. Let's assume you're a CPA affiliate and you wanna make money running CPA offers on search ads. Uh, I'm making a, an example today. We're gonna to use the biz op niche, which is business opportunities. I'm currently running a campaign now on Google search, so I thought it would be a great idea to do this video as well. Now, if you're, if you're looking to set up Google search ads for affiliate campaigns, let me just uh, refer you first to a full in-depth course I've already done. It's inside, if you go to the powerhouseaffiliate.com and you sign up for the members area, if you go over to webinars, recently we just posted a full training on how affiliates should be setting up their campaigns step-by-step -step on Google ads so that you avoid any potential um, you know, bans or anything like that. So it's a very important training to check out, um, but I'm gonna assume you already know all this stuff, so if you, if you do, then let's get into the next part. How do you spy and how do you find out what's working? So let's just choose an offer here. Um, right now I'm getting leads roughly for about $2 Canadian, we'll say, on Google. Uh, I can get it a lot less, I just started the campaign, but if I was running one of these CPA offers and getting, getting paid 350 US, I'd be actually doing really well um, profitably, okay? So I'm, I'm gonna use this offer here, Work at Home Moms, just as an example, okay? Um, it's not something I'm currently running, but I just thought it'd be a good example to use in, in this um, video because it does allow search ads, as you can see, Google, Yahoo, and Bing are allowed. So let's just assume I want to. I want to do this. I'm, I'm looking for people that are interested in working from home. Obviously, they want to make money online and all that stuff. So how do we do that? First thing you're going to need is you're going to need a tool that switches your IP if you are not in one of these two countries, U.S. or Canada. Okay. You need to see what your competitors are running in these countries, and the only way to do that is to switch your IP. So I use a tool called HMA. It's called hidemyass.com. It basically just switches your IP. It's a VPN, so you can switch your IP and it can make it appear that my computer is now in the United States, okay? And I can choose any country. If I'm running something in Germany or if I wanna run something in Austria or if I wanna run something in Ireland, it doesn't matter. I can choose them all here. There's a whole bunch of different countries to choose from, okay? So with that out of the way, we have my IP switched to the United States. The first step is we wanna find a list of our competitors. So we want like five, maybe 10 domains of people that are our competition. And preferably, they have to be running ads. So we're gonna come into bing.com and we're gonna search work at home. And as you can see, there are some ads running there, clearly defined right here as ads, okay? So if you don't find ads in your first search, then maybe search something else like make money online, whatever, okay? We're, we're looking for ideas here and we're trying to find our competitors. This is Bing, so maybe they're not advertising on Bing yet, but once you find the, uh, like you're trying to look for affiliates here, okay? So here it looks like an affiliate, the affiliateresource.com. This would be a competitor that I wanna target. I'm not gonna be choosing TurboTax as my competitor because this is a massive company that is obviously into doing taxes for people and all that stuff, it's a software. And I just don't want that as my competitor list because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with those competitors here in a minute and what tool can really speed this up for us. So we can also do the same thing at Google and we can start searching and finding other uh, competitors and, and we're basically just trying to get a list of the top people running in our space. Another way you can get a list of your competitors if you're already running Google Ads is to come into your Google Ads account. Here's an example campaign I set up recently for powerhouseaffiliate.com. Not exactly an affiliate campaign, but it's still the exact same style. I'm collecting leads 
for uh, people that want to make money online and I'm trying to get them in to take the training that we have, which is probably one of the best trainings online for affiliate marketers, okay? Plug inserted, yes, that's correct. That was a plug. But coming in here, you can check it out and you click on auction insights. Now, right now, there's not enough data in this campaign because it literally just started. But once you've been running for, say, 14 days, you're going to start seeing auction insights, okay? And this is basically what it's going to look like. Here's an example. Once you click on it, it's going to show you and where you stand in the search results. And then it's going to show you the actual domains of the people competing against you, which is actually huge, okay? Like, it's, 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 as an advertiser, it kind of sucks because people are going to be able to see that you're competing against them and then they can come after you and start uh, targeting your ads. But at the same time, you can do the same thing to them. So if you're not actively trying to beat your competitors, you're going to eventually get beat down the road if, you, if you're not active on your campaign. So there is no set and forget on search ads. Trust me, it doesn't exist. So now that we have a list of our competitors, the next tool we want to use is SEMrush. Go to dayjobhacks.com slash SEMrush. You'll get a seven-day free trial. So if you're setting up a new campaign, you have seven days to come in here. And you can see over here on the left, the first thing you're going to click on is advertising research. This is, I find, one of the best sections of this tool. Click on that, and what's going to happen is it's going to bring up a section here called Advertising Research. So in this case, I found a domain. I'm going to enter it here. It's called clickearners.com. They're advertising on Bing and Google. So I'm going to click search here, and what it's going to do, it's going to pull up <clears throat> all of their ads, all of the keywords they're bidding on, everything I need to know about what they're actually doing with their advertising. It even shows me how long they've been going. You can see I can choose for the last, uh, they've been running here since May 2019. A big spike here in uh, May of 2020, went down a bit, still running though. And you can see now all of the keywords. So now, instead of you know guessing what keywords I should be looking at, look at all these great keywords I can choose. And I can actually download all of these and add them into my Google Ads or Search Ads campaign using the exact same strategies I taught in the course here that I referenced earlier. Um, this is how you're going to find your keywords and especially uh, your ad copy. So coming in here, if I click on ad copy, I can actually now see all of the ads this person is running, all of the things they're doing. Uh, it's actually a really amazing tool, especially for anyone doing search ads. It doesn't matter what niche you're doing, what uh, topic, you're going to find your competitors in here. Now, best of all, once you have your competitors list, you can keep adding in more here and doing multiple searches, but it's also going to give you even more competitors, okay? Look, if you click here, you don't even have to do your research anymore. All you have to do is find one competitor, stick it in here, and it's going to give you the list of all the competitors as well that you can now start searching. So really saving you hours and hours of work, finding out exactly what these people are doing. You click on one, and then you come back, and look at their ads. Now you have everything you need to know about running these ads. Now, of course, for myself, I'm running right now, uh, let's just go into my campaign so I can show you um, what's going on here. This is uh, a campaign I'm running to a lead generation page. So I created a squeeze page. I've done videos on this channel about how to build email lists. So check out my videos. I'll maybe pop one up here as well how to do that. I'm building funnels with optimized press and I'm creating a, an ad for a free giveaway. Okay. So there's, if you're going to be running work at home, especially on Google or Bing, you're going to want to first collect the lead first before you start sending them to CPA affiliate offers. Now I know I'm kind of getting off track on the spying here, but it's important that you understand that whatever you're going to run as an affiliate needs to adhere to a certain structure. Okay. Um, but here in this case, I'm getting leads here for in, in the tier two and tier three countries, getting them for as low as $1.77 Canadian, which works out to about $1.20 um, US. But this campaign literally just started. I haven't even optimized it yet. It's ran for about eight days at $30 a day. So I'm, I'm, I'm not even up to the uh, 10 day mark where I'm going to probably do some serious optimizations. I'm going to bring these costs per lead down below a dollar easily in the tier two, tier three countries by spying using tools like this, going in, finding my competitors for powerhouse affiliate and doing the exact same thing I just did 
um, while I'm planning out to run a CPA offer, okay? So uh, these strategies work as an affiliate or as a product owner. Um, these tools like SEM Rush are epic when it comes to spying on what's happening in search ads online, okay? So if you have any further questions about how to spy on affiliate offers um, or any other traffic sources, please post your comments below, post your strategies, they're always helpful to the community. Thanks for watching and please, again, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.